Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to find photos in the Mac Photos app that are not yet assigned to an album. So a question I often get is from people that like to put all of their photos into different albums in the Photos app. Now it's useful when doing that to be able to see which photos are not yet assigned to any album. And it doesn't appear that there's a way to do that. There's no menu item that will get you there and you can't search for photos not in an album. But there is a method to do it, and it's pretty simple once you know the trick. What you wanna do is go to File and create a Smart Album. So a Smart Album is an album that instead of you individually putting photos in there, it's the results of a search. So for instance, you could create a Smart Album for all the photos taken with a particular camera, or all the photos taken on a certain date or at a certain location. And you can combine all of these different types of criteria and create a smart album. And the great thing about smart albums is that they automatically update. So if you create a smart album that is photos from the last 30 days, it's always gonna show photos from the last 30 days. So it'll be a completely different set of photos in 30 days than what you see right now. So even when you get to creating a smart album here, it's not readily apparent how to do it. It doesn't seem like you can say photo uh, is not uh, in an album. That's not there. What you wanna do is go to album and you wanna say album and then the default is is any. So it's in any album. You could also select a specific album. I've got three albums in this demo library here. So I can say album is Hawaii, but I could also say album is any and change is to is not. So now album is not any, and the result will be all the photos that are not in any album. I should name this something appropriate. So I'll just call it not in any album like that and click okay. And now you can see under albums here on the left, I've got this smart album called not in any album. And when I go to it, I'll see photos that are not in an album. Now, if I were to select one of these photos, like let's take this first one here and drag and drop it into an album, it'll disappear from the Smart Album because it no longer fits the condition for the Smart Album, which is not in any album. It is in an album now, so that photo is no longer gonna be listed. So I could use this not in any album here to go through my photos and drag and drop them to albums until I run out of photos. Once this is empty, every photo has been assigned to an album. By the way, if you find these videos valuable, consider joining the more than 2,000 others that support MacMost at Patreon. You get exclusive content, course discounts, and more. You can read about it at macmost.com slash Patreon. Now, you can change the Smart Album anytime you want by control clicking, two finger click on a trackpad or right click on a mouse on the Smart Album here and choose Edit Smart Album. It takes you back to the list of conditions. We can add conditions. Let's click the plus button here, and you could see it adds a second condition. And that second condition is date added is in the last 30 days. We could change it to what I think is more useful, date captured is, and then we could say in the last 30 days. And I will check up here very carefully and it says match all the following conditions. So both of these conditions have to be met. So now you have a way just to see recent photos that have not yet been assigned to an album which is very useful if you don't plan on adding every single photo to an album. So you just wanna see the photos you most recently took and have the chance to assign those to albums. And then once they're 30 days old, you're not going to worry about them. You could also change this to a specific date. So for instance, you could say is after and then give it a date like say uh, January 1st and let's do 2021. Anything before this date, you're not gonna worry about putting everything into albums, but you want to be very organized after this date and you want them all in albums. And this is a quick way to see which ones you haven't put in an album yet. You can even add more here. Like for instance, you could go to photo and you could say is not, and then let's say video. So eliminate the videos from there. Say you don't care about putting those in albums or alternatively, you could say is a video and just see which videos you have not put in an album. Remember, it's very easy to update this. So you can use it like this and then just go back to edit Smart Album and then make a change and okay, and then see a different set of photos there. So you don't need to create tons of different 
smart albums for different types of conditions. You could just have this one here as a handy organizing tool and continue to go in and edit it and change what the conditions are. It's easy to remove these from it and then add new ones. Another useful thing you might want to do is if you're in the habit of tagging some photos but putting other photos in albums, you may want to see all the photos that are not in an album and are also not tagged. So in that case, you can go to keyword and then you could say is not and then there's also any there. So this smart album will show me everything not in an album and it's not tagged. And another thing to keep in mind, a lot of people don't realize you can search by location. So the idea here is that if you select a photo like this and you get info on it and then you look at the location here, you can see a lot of text and you can actually access this location using the text portion of a smart album. So I'm going to edit the smart album here and I'm going to say I want it to be anything not an album and the text is and that really means contains and I can do something like this and then I'll get everything that has that word in any kind of text field including the location. So let's say you've gone through these and you've determined that you've put everything into regular albums that you want to put into albums. The rest of these you don't want to get rid of, but you don't need them to be in an album. So how to get them out of this list? Well, one thing you can do is create a new album. I may call this uncategorized or no album. Now, when you move things to this album, I'll select like all of these photos right here. I can move it into no album. And since now they are actually in an album, they won't be listed in my smart album. Another thing you could do is select them and then use the keyword manager to add a keyword and then set your smart album to not be in any album and also not have a certain keyword like no album or something like that. So lots of different ways where you can use a simple smart album like this and make sure some of the photos don't show up there. But if you ever want to see all the photos that are not in any album, but also ones that are in this special no album album you created, you can change it to be like this, album is not any, and also album is, and then choose that special album you created, change match all to match any. And now you'll get things that are not in any album or are in this special album. Another thing to note is you could use smart albums to help you get things into album. Like when I showed before, you can use album is not any, and you could also then say text is and then have a location like that. And then you'll see all of these photos here. You can grab them all, a quick command A will do that, and then drag them into an album. And now it's empty there. Now you can go back and edit the smart album again, change this text to something else or some other criteria and use that for drag and drop. So not only can you use this to take photos one by one and put them in albums, but you can use more specific criteria here to grab groups of photos and put them into albums. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.